That was me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Real pleasure indeed. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Tell me about the house. Here we have this beautiful home, historic outside, modern inside. It's, it's cute. Yes, it's adorable. It features one bedroom, one bathroom, that the inside is absolutely can die for. Oh, that's nice. How's the kitchen? It's lovely. Renovated in 2013. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan though. No, no. I'm sure once you see it, you'll love it. Just come inside. It smells like wet paint. Uh, yes, the previous owners had children, and you know how they are with drawing on the walls. I guess. You know, this color is kind of outdated. You can always change it and make it your own. That's one thing I love about this home, is how much you can personalize all this open space. That's odd. Probably one of those automatic ones. I don't see why there's so much insistence on getting rid of walls and houses. What's so wrong with having rooms? No privacy. Well, once you get settled in, I've heard it can really make the space feel more comfortable and alive. Sorry, who are you hearing that from? What? <laughs> who told you that? <laughs> Do they actually know anything about houses? I, I've heard it from people who bought houses like this, and... <laughs> exactly. They don't know. <laughs> that quarter show, huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what I mean is that most modern homeowners don't even know how to make up a bathroom look good in the first place. Oh, I don't know if that's necessarily true. <laughs> I do. I mean, come on, why would you ever have faith in anyone buying a house in the modern age? They just have no taste. Clearly, these people are no exception. Well, the modern trends aren't so bad, and plus, more recently renovated bathrooms often guarantee that a previous owner has put in the work of replacing outdated plumbing. And trust me, these folks did just that. And what? Decorated the place with seashells and little bowls, put up a tiny lighthouse on the shelf right above the toilet? <laughs> Actually, they did. Did you know that? No, that's exactly my point. <laughs> These misguided folks are a dime a dozen nowadays. They just take out nice tiled flooring and put in, I don't know, fake wood or something. I believe these floors are laminate. That's even worse. <laughs> they just take a picture of the wood and cover it. That's just <laughs> horrible. Let's look at the kitchen. Great. I'm sure that'll be even better. I know the modern style isn't exactly what you're hoping for, but let's take a look. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I'm sure that was something. That fridge is terrible! <laughs> what? It's an LG! And it's the French 3 door model. Which, if you knew anything about renovated houses, hey. you would know that they are terrible, worthless, garbage excuses for appliances. <laughs> I mean, why would anyone want to buy a house with a fridge in it from a brand known for their faulty internal computers, exploding bulbs, doors that won't close all the way, resulting in cracking shelves? I mean, the list goes on. And on top of that, their customer service is a stain. I understand oh, that. I'm not finished. It is a stain on the legacies of innovation set decades ago by Westinghouse and Kelvinator. I mean, God forbid one of their sorry excuses for iceboxes gives out on you when you can't even service the damn things yourself. You have to go track down one of their customer service centers, which are few and far between, and then give them your money just so they can fix it by putting in more faulty parts, only for it to give out on you again and have you running back months later. They just take your money and your time throughout the whole affair. You can't get that back. <laughs> 
try another one if it bugs you that much. If you're interested, we can discuss what direction you'd like to take this in. The decoration in here is minimal just to give you an idea of where it could go. They might have thought it would be nice to put these little salt and pepper shakers here. But, like I said, their tastes aren't yours. We can work together to find out what you want. Oh. I bet we could, huh? <laughs> and then what? Totally rip model this place like every other tasteless schmuck when they run into a kitchen that isn't updated to the folks riche displays they see on HGTV. Give me a break. I wasn't saying you had to totally remodel it, but there's plenty of ways to keep your appliances updated without erasing every single trace of their historical background, like these white tiles here. Uh-huh. I mean, they're, they're classic. They're so integral to design even after their rise in popularity in the 1920s. And that choice is still relevant today. Yes, since the Victorians thought that dirt carried germs, white tile became synonymous with hell. And just think of where it can take this. There are so many folks out there right now that seem to imitate the looks of that Art Deco interior styling. Which, even though trend cycle seems relevant, I mean, the 1920s. Talk about a great decade for interior design. I mean. It could almost be debated that it was one of the few points on Earth's history where you can really do up the inside of a home without cramming as many symbols, the tasteless 1% as you possibly could in there. If it's your house and your taste, you only need to be guided by what you want it to look like. It's like, it's like a canvas. Anything that's already here can be painted over, modified, altered, or preserved. Sir. <laughs> that ownership gives you the power to do anything. <clears throat> I can make it one of those houses that can withstand the passage of time through adapting. I can tell the world about my adventures in home modeling. I can be the next, the next Felipe Stark or maybe David Nightingale Hicks. And the design world would remember my name for quadrillions or even decades to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's look at the bedroom. Yeah. I bet I could put all my tools for a restoration in here, huh? <laughs> Plenty of space. Have you not looked in here before? What? <laughs> you seem confused. Uh, we came in here alone, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with, with this closet? <laughs> Did you see someone in there? Hello? Any charismatic couples dedicated to convincing unsure buyers on spending thousands of dollars on renovating homes that are perfectly fine? <laughs> see? It's empty. Completely, absolutely empty. Not a single soul is in there. Hold on. No, I'm not buying it. 
Oh, so you're still in here with no 